Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our Bowman baseball mixer. Half a jumbo, half a hobby. Remember we did one yesterday? We did the left sides yesterday. That's how the, how the dice roll went down. And I marked those R for the right side. So that's what we're doing today. First. Hobby first. Now we also have to give away the Yankees. So whether you won a spot or bought a spot straight up, guess what? You all have a chance at the Bronx Bombers. So let's erase that blank spot there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. After random or checks my browser. And it's gonna be the name on top after six times. Five and a one. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time after six. Thanks everyone for giving this shot and congrats to Randy Ramos. There you go, Randy. After six times, the Yankees are yours. Who did you get? You bought the Cubs? Gets a bonus team with the Yankees. So we'll put that little rooftop next to your name so you know you won that team. For the other winners, you, you won that in, uh, that's from the Jumbo Pack number 18, I believe, which I just uploaded. So that's printing out right now. There we go. No super factor yet. Mm -hmm. Right, right there you go. Mm -mm. No, I mean I haven't. You haven't, right? I don't think Jason has. All right, so. Can you stall for four packs? Three packs. No, yeah, no. I can. I, I can stall. Two packs. Uh, so no, no super fractor at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. No super fractor or no super fractor auto. We have pulled a couple printing plates, though. Yeah, we have some non-auto printing plates. Nick's pack reaping skills are world class, HB. That's why. That's why he made the travel team to the Tops Million Card Rip Party. Thanks for the invite, Tops. But that's why he went, and uh, and I stayed home. Now remember, all um, paper does not ship. They end up getting sold and donated to local charities. So no paper ships except for Yankees, Jason Dominguez, A's, Robert Pawson, and Royals, um, Bobby Wood Jr. So I'm going to actually just sort those out as we go along. What year is this? This is O'Neill Cruz to 150. Right, right, right. This, this is, this is like super fast. This is like pre before restrictor plates and, yeah. and the car of tomorrow, and which is a terrible name. It sounds like Disneyland. Oh, what? The car of tomorrow. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess safety first. There's Adam Hall. I didn't mind Dale Jarrett. In the uh, UPS. Yeah. The UPS car? car. That's a classic car. All right, Adam Hall for the Orioles, for Matthew Shira, Bobby Witt Jr. Royals. I went into a uh, NASCAR rabbit hole on Sunday after watching Pocono. I know I start they're doing a lot of emails right now, Tony, so. You should get a response in the next couple hours. I uh, watched a lot of uncensored, like, radio chatter. Yeah. <laughs> those, are, those are always pretty fun. Yeah, those are fun. Now they have, like, when you go to the race, like, you can rent, like, the radio with a screen in it. So, wow. So, like, you can, like, you can zero in on one car, or, like, the garage. It's kind of it's fancy. Then you just see a bunch of people looking down. It's kind of stupid. I feel, like, I feel like this wouldn't be fun unless you get like the RV, go to the infield, yeah. you know, and just barbecue yeah. all day and like just hang out in the middle. Especially Fontana, it's not great, it's like exciting racing. 
And there's Aaron Shortridge. One auto per box. We're doing hobbies first. Half a hobby and then half a jumbo. This is a uh, Pittsburgh Pirates autograph. Juan Hernandez to four ninety nine. Make sub. All right, yes, <laughs> Bubba Wallace was pretty funny on the radio when he almost wrecked. That was wild. I, I couldn't believe. I don't couldn't believe he missed that. But then his spotter was like, "Nah, you were good. You had like, you had like a foot and a half." And Bubba Wallace was like, "Screw you." No, that looked really close to me. It was like, if the wall is right here. There was like a wreck back here, and this car hit there and then was screaming down towards the wall, and then Bubba Wallace had avoided the crash and like slid right by, hit a little bump and almost went airborne, and then flew right by, and then got back onto the apron and then the track, but it was pretty close. Right, yeah, yeah, he was like a foot and a half isn't that big. When you're going 200 miles per hour. There's Alex Kirilov, Atomic. I thought he was going to hit that car for sure. A tricky triangle. A Pocono, the first NASCAR doubleheader. Is it cool? I like the yeah, entrance. I, like I mean, I wouldn't want to The entrance, you go under the track, yeah, right? Yeah. That's, that looked really cool. Apparently, from what I, from what little I read, each turn is supposed to resemble like a different track. Like the flat wide turn is like the, it's like yeah, turn one in Indianapolis, style, yeah. and then like the other ones like the steep banks at Daytona, and the other ones like another weird one. There's Ramon Laureano and Whit Merrifield, 75. So which makes it notoriously difficult. Yeah, actually, when I went Dale Jarrett one. Oh, nice. Probably ten. Hobby box, another hobby box. They said they repaved those tracks, right, Martin? Where's the, I don't even know, what's the next race? Oh, it's at it's Indianapolis. Yeah, yeah. big machine hand sanitizer. 400, 400, wow. The hand sanitizer, 400. Um, do, I have, do I have picks for that race? I feel like they usually do the all-star race on the July 4th, but... Okay. I actually like the All-Star race. All-Star and NASCAR is really fun. Because they play for money over there, actually. And we got Adam Hill. Brewers. That's going to go to Wade. With the Brew Crew. There you go, Wade. Won that team in a team ran. And Brandon Richards, you are absolutely correct. Your reading comprehension skills are A-level. You can win, yeah, when you buy a spot, whatever pack I open, it could be a redemption for a box inside, it could be a pack, it could be multiple things, it could be one thing. Yeah, that should be wild, That's, that should be exciting. Now remember, just like a firework, it could be a dud, or it could be amazing. It's a boom or bust, high risk, high reward. Who's going to get rewarded with that orange shimmer right here? It's going to be the Tigers. That's Daz Cameron, 19 out of 25 orange shimmer for Scott Pelzer. We got randomized the Tigers in that team random. Oh, I'm not sure what that means, McSub. Not to get... 
too much into pogs, but Corey LeJoy is chucking the cat amongst the pigeons with his livery for the race. That is a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of metaphor there. I feel like I have to... A lot of lines I need to read between... Oh, he's driving a political car. This oh, he's driving a political that car this week? endorses a candidate. The Trump or Biden? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Well, now I'm curious. That's Trump. That's Trump? How much do you think it's going to be Biden? I, I was just, I'd be shocked <laughs> if it was Biden. <laughs> it's fair. I know, right? No, I guess it's cool that they let him do whatever, I guess. Yeah. I don't think he gets sponsored a lot, so that might be why. He's allowed to just freely pick that. Yeah, I wonder how that decision is made. I mean, ultimately the driver signs off on it, right? Like, if this guy's like, or no, maybe just take the money. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate I appreciate you uh, being sensitive about that mix-up. You're right. We don't really touch on that too often. We, you, a lot of times, it's, it's, it's usually pretty lighthearted and fun and everyone, but then someone always takes it to like, and they were like, oh, okay, this is why we don't talk. You can just be like, yeah, he has a Trump car. We should be able to leave it at that. Yeah, Bubba Wallace had a Black Lives Matter car. Leave it at that. But most people can't. So we just nip it in the bud. I like that metaphor, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. The metaphor, the, <laughs> the wording was great. Yeah, it was good. But Corey LeJoy is chucking the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> I get it now. Now it makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. It was good. Uh, the boxes in the 4th of July packs, Brandon Richards, they are mystery boxes for a reason. If we told you what years they could be or what the box are, then it would not be a mystery. Yeah, it might not necessarily contain hobby boxes. It could have packs or singles or break credit totaling... At least over a thousand bucks. There you go. Sometimes more. And yeah, like I said, that will sell out tomorrow. I, I can I'll put my reputation on it. I think. I don't know, I mean is it's, it's could be a British metaphor. It sounds like a British metaphor, mix up. A little old English saying. Like uh like past the bunting. When something doesn't pass the bunting, it's like pretty much the English saying, uh, I guess, smell test. I think is what we, would, we how we would say it. Chelsea s the bed this today. Yeah, they, it was a draw. I think. Right? No, they someone. I I thought it was a draw too, and then I and I so I just walked away. In the 89th minute, West Ham scored a West Ham scored a goal, and it was three-two. <laughs> this is brutal. No goals for Pulisic. It's a tough time to yeah, it's all, it's only you Brits that use the yeah. That was good though. Cat among the pigeons. I'm gonna have to use that. I did see a great strike by uh, Black Eyed Peas member William. What's that? No, oh yeah, yeah, William. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's playing soccer, but yeah. Will I am yeah, scored a goal Will today. Yeah. Two goals today. Uh, Chris Valamont, twins. That'll be uh, John Samuelson. There you go, John with the twins. Yeah, because I saw the draw was like plus four twenty or something. But, uh, what? I guess I saw Ronaldo had a nice goal too. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's some Serie A action was happening. Too. There's uh, Gus Varland, Aqua Shimmer to 125. Finally, it took him forever. Yeah. Alec Thomas, 
to four ninety nine. The amount of time you do team talks at uni for your baseball team and you say those idioms and these foreign students look at you. Right, the American kids are like, what? Cat amongst the pigeons? Past the bunting? That means, like, cat amongst the pigeons meaning, like, there's, it's going to get messy? Like, yeah. Like, well, what happens when you put a cat among the pigeons? Cat starts killing the pigeons? Yeah, there's just... Or the pigeons start attacking the cat. Feather, um, everything. Just, just, just a, a mess. Just a mess. Yeah. Oh, did I miss a Dominguez? Sorry, I was busy watching NASCAR and talking about bunting. There he is. Jason Dominguez. Thanks, Juan. Uh, goes to Randy Ramos. All right. First Dominguez paper of the break. Is R. Gordon? Is that Robbie, Robbie Gordon? Robbie Gordon? Yeah. He drive the singular cars? I didn't remember that, but... I don't know who that owl is. Yeah, I don't know those guys either. Look at B Mayfield. Is that Baker Mayfield? Baker Mayfield's driving? It says uh, Grandpa Bubba Mayfield. <laughs> Bubba Mayfield? Yeah. Uh, yes, we have had some NASCAR in the past. You should look up on our videos. Look up that NT NASCAR. We had a lot of fun with that whenever we were able to get our hands on it. We had some prime racing, a little bit of that one that came out. I don't know, it's, it's tough, unless it's like NT, it's kind of hard to get people in on the group breaks of it, but it seems to do pretty well personal box wise. That's one hobby, two hobby, Hobby. Is that it for the hobby? Yeah. And these are one jumbo, two jumbo, right? Yes. Three, four. Okay, perfect. Oh, we just ran out of gas. Um, I think we had a decent amount of victory lane, but I think we don't anymore. Uh, maybe not 2018. That one might be from Australia. Oh, yeah. There was an Australian dude that bought them all. What it was. But yeah, unfortunately, NASCAR products usually go down in value, so we don't tend to get a lot during the release. But when they go on sale, we usually can get. So. Yeah. That's when it's the, that's when it's the best value for everybody. The I wish they would do if they knock out like another NT racing, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, Corey LaJoy, I'll say. Remember when he had his face on the car? That was funny. Uh, the gold baseball said that as the items in a gold picture frame is in the center. Uh, you mean transcendent? Or are you talking about gold label? Those products have gold frame autos in there. Museum collection also has frames. A lot of products that Topps does now. There's a good handful that, that will feature gold frames. There's JJ Blade. High draft pick to 125 for the Marlins, Adam Kupperman, fourth overall pick in 2019. Another Jason Dominguez paper. All right, another one for Randy Ramos. Ah, prospecting on the on the Haley Deegan. Yeah, 
What does she race? She she's do, is she just doing like quarter mile stuff? Like no, she just got like two Oh okay. What is she what is she racing now? Mix up. There's a Jason Dominguez spanning uh, the globe. Is it um Arca? Oh Arca, that's what that's what Mix Up says. Yeah. I think she's new to that this year. Last year. Hmm. Clear plastic boxes each has like oh you mean Dynasty would be the one that's one per box. But I don't know if Dynasty has frames. It's Ford Proctor, two seventy two to two ninety nine. Rays, that's gonna go to Ryan D with the Tampa Bay Rays. You see him in gold label only frames and definitive. Oh maybe you're thinking definitive? Transcendent too. I think you're thinking of definitive, yeah. I think she'll be in Haley digging in trucks next year. When I was going down my NASCAR rabbit hole, also saw a very well-mannered fight between Danny Hamlin and Danica Patrick. Have you yeah, seen I it? That, yeah. <laughs> it was like it's like the behind the scenes one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just like really like civil. They almost looked like a married couple like arguing. Yeah, yeah that's funny. And it was just like, well, Danny, I don't know why you would turn me around like yeah. that. Having at practice, it happened to the little, She got a little on. Civil at the end, like then she carts at the end. Well, uh, yeah, I think she's like half man, and then like <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But like I, I, I guess it's like, well, I thought we were friends. We were <laughs> friends, Annika. <laughs> like, well, I, I was just racing it. Just I didn't mean to turn you like they just. You're gonna bump. It's gonna. Yeah, I remember that video. Yeah, I've seen that. It's well, you one. you bump a lot of other guys. They're not getting turned around. A lot of the comments on that. <laughs> And I was like, that's that's really civil. <laughs> really discussion about like, like. I didn't like that you did that. Yeah, I didn't like. I, I really don't. Like, you didn't do. You don't do that to anybody else. Another atomic. Those aren't numbered, by the way. Oh, if you got if that, if you're thinking party invite, Brandon Richard, that's definitely transcendent. Transcendent baseball. Robert Pawson paper for the A's that goes to Ryan. We need we need a we need a break at yeah, at the uh, at, at a NASCAR race next year. You guys wouldn't be able to hear a thing we say during those breaks. We just have to use a series of hand signals. Hi everyone! <laughs> Joe for Jaspie's Case Breaks dot com. <laughs> Coming at you from the infield of the Auto Club Five Hundred. <laughs> There's Daz Cameron to four ninety nine. Tigers Scott. And your autograph is Jaron Duran, or Duran. Jaron Duran Duran, Darren McKenzie with the Red Sox. Jason Dominguez spanning the globe. And we've got a Trevor Larnock, 14 out of 25. Bowman Scouts 100 
parallel for John Samuelson and the Twins. There you go, nice. the worst when a potato chip bag gets into the front of your car and a Robert Pawson Chrome for Ryan and the A's in the studio here. Someone in the pit crew got twisted his knee? Yeah, it's gotta be wild. Be twisted ankles? What if you blow out a ACL? Making a turn around the car? Didn't think about that. So this is our last hobby box, by the way. Thanks to Nick for popping open all those boxes there. There's another paper, Dominguez, and a Zach Thompson. Miguel Amaya, purple paper. So these are all jumbos. That's one, two, three, and four. Each half, each half stack represents a jumbo box. And then we're done. And we'll go through some more orders, and we'll probably get into some more ingrained hockey after this. Keep the other inner case sold out. And we got Tariq Skubal. 
16 out of 50 gold for uh, Scott and the Tigers. Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon credit cards? With like their skins on your on your card? Interesting. So there is half a jumbo box and a full jumbo box right there on your screen. So now we're into the half jumbo part of this mixer. Thanks everybody. Thanks again to Nick because this break is gonna be a lot shorter, maybe about 20, 30 minutes shorter with his help, even with the distraction of <laughs> watching an old NASCAR race on FS1 if you want to follow along. That's a refractor Christian Pash. Uh, angry, the Early bird in the Leaf Flash football. That means you got a chance at winning an extra spot if you're uh, one of the first 20, I believe, spots purchased. Um, McSub, shoot us an email, jazpiececasebreaks at gmail.com. Give us a list. There's Shirt and Apostle. Nice one for the Rangers. SKS. Email us a list of the boxes that you're that you're searching for, just so, and I can point Nick to it. He doesn't really check the emails that often anymore, um, but we can just kind of keep it on the side, so kind of be planted in our heads, and we're like, oh yeah, you know. And if we see any available for a decent price, maybe we can we can get those and. get some boxes to you. Randy Ramos with the Yankees. And we got Miguel Vargas. Remember, three autos, a jumbo box. And that's for the Dodgers. Adam Kupperman got randomized by Dodgers. There you go, on the board. I honestly don't know much about this guy, but let's see, Cuban player. All right. Wow. Played in Cuba's top league, uh, top circuit as a 14-year-old. Seems to be a pretty good hitter. Working his way up the rank, 6'3", 205, righty. Third baseman could be a uh, could be future future Justin Turner maybe.
Yeah, I mean, we can open them too. I'd be happy to open up any racing as well, Nick said. If we can, if we're able to get our hands on any. There's Bobby with Junior Paper. And Jason Mingus spanning the globe. Gunnar Henderson to 250. Orioles, Matthew Shearer with that purple paper. And once again, Randy Ramos, winner of the Yankees in this, just racking up all sorts of different Domingue. Dominguez is is there you go nice we got Mason Denenberg for the Nats that goes to Robert Z in the Nationals Aqua Shimmer on this one Robert Damon Jones. Phillies auto. Phillies on the board. SKS. Uh, Jaspies case breaks at gmail.com. But yeah, I mean, it's just really just for just so we have a have those products in mind. And then it's just a matter of whether our distributor has it and if it's at at a decent price availability might be might be an issue just for us to have as reference mostly in case I don't know, every once in a while they'll be like hey we've got some NASCAR and they'll be like we can look at the list and be like is that the ones we want all right Another jumbo box. Half here, half there. And we've got Alvaro Sejas for the Red Birds, Mary with the Cardinals. Uh, what do you mean, Brandon Richards? Another Robert Possum paper for the A's. Oh, like, yeah, we've, we've, I mean, we purchased stuff from, from everybody. Chrome Dominguez. Yeah, another one for Andy. Matthew Shira and the Royals. And we got Gerard Encarnacion, Harar Encarnacion. 174 to 250. Adam Kupperman with the fish.
And we've got Yon Diaz to two ninety nine. Tim Kate to 250. Bobochette, purple paper. Blue Jays, Ryan. And we got Oscar Gonzalez for the Indians. Patrick with the tribe. Jason Dominguez, Randy Ramos. Thanks, McSub. Yeah, I mean, no, no guarantee we'll be able to get that anytime soon, but at least it's uh, at least it's kind of in our head. All right, another jumbo box, second to last one. So there was your three autos from that jumbo. And there is Elo Harris Montero to 150. Cardinals, that'll be for Mary. Yankees paper, another one for Randy. All those add up, Randy. Auto would be nice, but all of those papers and chromes all add up. Some of them might might even be worth grading.
Oh, look at this. Hebert Ruiz. That's nice. That's a that's a future Dodger catcher right there. He's supposed to be better than Will Smith, and Will Smith's a good catcher. There you go. Bowman Scouts top 100 autograph. Prospect number 65, according to them. Yeah. Super young, too. That's a nice one. Adam Kupperman has my Dodgers. Got him in a team random. Reese Hoskins, Hidden Finds, Atomic to 150, Phillies, SKS. It's a sharp looking card. There's Drew Mendoza to 150 for Robert and the Nats. And we've got Chris Valamont, another twin autograph for John Samuelson. And Logan Davidson to 250, purple chrome. We've got a Bobby Wood Jr. chrome, Matthew Shearer with the Royals. And a Bobby Witt paper, also again for Matthew Shira. And we got a Jason Dominguez, Bowman Scouts top 100 card. He's already number 53. Randy Ramos, just 17. Jason Dominguez spanning the globe. Almost done, folks. We're almost there. Just that little bit, and then one more jumbo box, and then we are donezos. This break should clock in right around an hour, which is which is perfect. Solo, this would have been like an extra extra thirty minutes, so glad I had Nick's help with this, and then we have more time, more energy to dive into more breaks. And we got Diospel Arias Speckle autograph, two eighty four to two ninety nine. Final box, ladies and gentlemen. Final jumbo box. This is Mixer 
Number 10. Third to last autograph is going to be Ezekiel Duran for Randy Ramos and the Yankees. Another Dominguez paper. Going to Randy Ramos and the Yankees. Bobby Witt Jr. paper for Matthew Shearer. Yeah, yeah. Owen Miller to four ninety nine Padres. Mark the set. There's a Ronaldo Hernandez to 4.99 Rays Ryan Wow, Greg Biffle's first Winston Cup start. Way way back machine. Come on, Philip Clark. Are you kidding me? This this is for Ryan D and the Blue Jays. It says the signing of all Topps autographs is witnessed by Topps representatives to guarantee authenticity. They missed one. You guys missed one. Yeah, I guess it's an eBay one of one. Here's what we're gonna do, Ryan. Um, we're gonna send you this uh, UPC along with that Blue Jays non-autograph. And I believe with that, I haven't. I I honestly haven't done this, but I've heard anecdotally that with that and the evidence of this video as well, you can probably get tops to to replace that for you. If I sign, I'll, I'll ruin the value of it if I sign it. Watch that guy becomes a Hall of Famer as my stupid auto on it. What then?
Well, this might be Jimmy Johnson's first win. Is that what they're saying? Another Dominguez for Andy. And our third and final autograph is Zach Hess to 499. Refractor autograph for Scott Pelzer and the Tigers. Looks like that is that, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. Thanks for hanging with me. Our 10 box Bowman mixer is over. Half a hobby, half a jumbo in the books. Thanks, everybody. There was that missing auto. Let's do a quick little recap here. Missing auto. A lot of Dominguez chrome and paper and inserts, which was nice. A lot of nice color. And we pulled a, a, a handful of uh, Robert Possons, paper and chrome, that orange is nice. And uh, Bobby Witt Jr. paper and chrome as well. So it was pretty solid stuff. And we started off with that. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.